three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome to a new episode of Top 3 Ghosts. Recently, we received a comment about a video that we usually don't deal with because they are fake, a video on TikTok and we decided to show it to you anyway because at first sight it could be deceiving. Look what I found, this is in Carmel, this great old house. Someone told me that it's the Murphy house. I don't know who the Murphys were, but I don't think they've lived here for a while because it looks pretty deserted. But it must have been gorgeous in its day. It's a absolutely, I could just imagine walking around here in some fancy dress or something. And just amazing. It's just beautiful. In the video you can see very clearly a white face in front of one of the windows, the video at its end seems to return to the window but is abruptly cut and there is no second part. All details that arouse legitimate suspicions. Also in the comments someone asks, why didn't you call the police? It could be a child locked inside. And in fact we discovered that it was a mannequin that had been placed in the window for some time to arouse fear in the pedestrians who passed them. If you like our work and these contents, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Let's start immediately with the third position in the ranking. The Entity That Faces The Door We are usually used to recognizing a security camera glitch from a paranormal phenomenon by now. We see the person disappearing, perhaps going through the door or a wall, and we understand from the transparency of the human figure that it is a mistake. This does not seem to be the case with the next video, posted on the Reddit forum on October 1, 2021 by user, Aloops, entitled, How Can You Debunk This? Sharing from a friend's surveillance feed, activity starts at 34 seconds in. The rather disturbing thing is the shadow followed by the figure of this entity, it seems to come from the wall and subsequently materialize in the door, but there are no glitches or pixels of the camera, moreover the figure seems to enter the house exactly as it appeared without changing perspective, as if walking in the same horizontal line and this does not explain how it is possible to see a shadow in the wall. In the comments, the author explains that this is a quiet neighborhood and no thief raids have taken place. The owner of that house has no children and was not at home at the time of the incident, no object was out of place inside the house. It is really difficult to understand what really happened, also because that door of the house does not seem to have moved even an inch. If you have an opinion, please leave a comment. The Paranormal Ornament Sometimes separating interesting cases from obvious fakes is a job that requires attention, but there are cases that raise a lot of questions, and when there are too many questions, we choose that video. This curious footage was posted back in the distant October 22, 2011 on the YouTube channel Zombie660R, a channel with very few videos, mainly of everyday life such as filming pets and it has nothing to do with the world of the paranormal. In the video description we find, was a video of cup stacking, then noticed afterward the doll sat up by itself, I am very worried and cannot figure out how this happened, if you have any suggestions on what to do, please message me, I have put the doll away in an old barn I have. During a very normal moment of play between children, in the upper part of the scene, a very small puppet that acts as an ornament to the piece of furniture, moves by itself until it reaches the sitting position, around it follow several orbs. We don't see any orbs of dust during the video. As in the previous video, these creepy phenomena are followed or preceded by very fast orbs around them. So there seems to be a correlation between these orbs and this kind of phenomena and it doesn't seem to be temporally coordinated. Scary Laughter at Haunted Cemetery If there is a place where paranormal anomalies have been found several times over the centuries, that place is certainly the cemetery. 
On October 7, 2021, Franco of the Franco TV channel posted a video where we see him exploring one of the largest cemeteries in New Orleans, USA. Let me see if I could get to the one of the creepiest areas that I know that actually gave me the most biggest goosebumps being out here. And that's in this place. Check this out. Late at night, Franco explores alone with his equipment the tall dark corridors of the cemetery, when he arrives outside one of them he sees something moving, so he activates the night vision of his camera and sees something quite unexpected. Wait. Hold on. I got movement. Oh, come on. Look. A female figure dressed in black, wanders among the graves in total darkness. Just made it into the graveyard. Right now I'm just kind of watching my surroundings and making sure nobody is here. But you can see how creepy this place is. Franco decides to move to the other side of the open cemetery, by car, for safety reasons. Then he gets out of the car to explore this other area that the night seems really scary to face alone. I just switched on to night vision. I want you guys to see how this place looks like in a night vision perspective. I'm not too far away from my car because I do not feel safe being here at night. But look how it looks like with the night vision cam. This is how this place is. I haven't even gotten to the other side yet. That thing creeped me the hell out. But that's like an angel statue. Wait. Hold on. I just saw something down there. Franco is distracted by a strange transparent figure who appears at the entrance to a tomb, but when he goes to the place he finds nothing. Then he goes to the more open area, but when he is walking among the tombs, this happens. Somebody's messing with me. Yeah. I do not feel comfortable. After recovering from the fright inside the car, Franco decides to visit an old tomb locked by a gate, but once in front of the gate, he is literally petrified with fear from what happens. Don't get stuck. This is where I had a really creepy experience with a spirit box. Hello? And they always keep this thing really 
shot. It is a cemetery that hides voodoo rituals and a series of anomalies that Franco promises to reanalyze a second time with spirit boxes and other equipment. For today our episode ends here, I hope you enjoyed it, if you love this kind of content subscribe to the channel, follow our social networks and leave a like to help us grow and bring more and more selected material. Thanks for watching, good night.